the gods determined pretty good. Hey there cinephiles, today I'm reviewing Gladiator 2. This is the second part of Gicked Week, which is Gladiator 2 and Wicked. And for those that don't know, Gladiator 2 is the sequel to the 2000 Best Picture Award winning film, Gladiator. Now personally for me, it's been a while since I've seen Gladiator, but I never really loved that movie. I know many other people did, and good for them. Was I entertained by the original? Yeah, sure, but I just didn't grow a fondness for it. And now with Gladiator 2, well, let, let me start with the negatives first before I get into the positives. Ridley Scott, one of the most acclaimed and influential directors of all time. And yet he is just one of the biggest directors ever that I just don't love. There are so many of his films in which are considered classics and yet I find just kind of disappointing. Gladiator being one of them. And with this one specifically, it feels like there are missing pieces. Awkward at times in its writing and editing, there are clearly some things that are just off. Shoot, I mean, even some of the focus pulling was just not fully there. Like, on the big IMAX screen that I got to see this on, there were blurry images. And it definitely wasn't a projector because they were showing coverage of a conversation. One of them was in full focus and the other was just blurry. And this happened multiple times. Which genuinely, to me, it's really unfortunate and kind of baffling that this happened. And I gotta say too, even the CGI is a bit rough, especially for those baboons. And that water at the beginning. And and some other times with animals. Look, it, it's it's kind of rough overall for the CGI, I'm not gonna lie. Also, the May Calamale stuff was kind of weird. She apparently had this huge prominent role in the film and would just cut out completely. She's an actress that I like and I kind of wish she was in this. However, despite those negatives, I still do see this film in a positive light. There are many aspects that I like about this movie, which leads me to be so torn by it, even though, again, I am leaning positive on this. The biggest positive about this film is that the acting is great. Paul Meskel is a star in the making and I am so excited to continue to see his career grow further and further and just be bigger and bigger. He's an actor that is capable of so many things and his on-screen presence is just wonderful to see, especially at his age. It's going to be really hard for me to not be a fan of his because he just brings it every single time he's in a project. And it makes me so happy to to say that this is no different. Getting into Pedro Pascal now, he is so good in this as well. His ability to bring a depthness to his character that is much needed is just so greatly on display here. Not only was it needed and he delivered so well, but there was at points where he was just kind of my favorite character and performance in this film. And now getting into Denzel Washington, I mean, no one will ever ever have more charisma than he does just as a person and in every single performance he delivers. Denzel Washington just has this wonderful charm to him and he just, he turns heads no matter what scene or role he's in. And this again, really shows that, especially towards the end of his career, which is really unfortunate that he says there's only a handful of projects left for him to do on the big screen, but I am so glad we got to see this one. He's just so cool and he demands your attention like nobody else's business and damn, is he just good. It's really so great to see these three generations of actors just deliver so, so well and elevate the written word in this. It genuinely makes me wonder if this was a much stronger script, how amazing this movie could have been. It truly could have been an epic for the ages, again, if the screenwriting was just a bit stronger here. But anyways, getting into some other pluses, I definitely gotta say one of them is the brutality that is depicted in this film. You're able to feel every death and just every injury. For some people, it made this film a lot cooler, and for others, mostly me, it allowed you to actually feel the stakes even more and just raise the tension. The pain and anguish on display here, you just genuinely feel that and you feel that for our characters. Which again, shout out to the acting for that too. The other positive is the clear cut revolutionary ideas and just overall optimism that is presented in our lead characters. At least the ones you're supposed to root for. I just think in the times that we're in, this is a very good message to have to unite people and not divide them and just to have these characters kind of exemplify that and what it means to do that. I thought it was pretty well done. I also want to say too that I got to see this in IMAX at an early screening and I am so so glad I did because a lot of the visuals and sounds are just much more enhanced on this nice of a screen. However, that also means some of the flaws are a bit easier to see as well here. Some of the ADR is a bit off and again, some of the CGI is just not fully there. But getting to see these performances and sometimes great action scenes on this big of a screen is a major
Gladiator Plus too. Overall, Gladiator 2 is going to be some people's favorite movie of the entire year because it does play into a lot of older Hollywood blockbuster tropes while also still bringing in some newer stuff that still works pretty well. The overall story is very interesting with a lot of political intrigue as well as some pretty fun fights and some fun characters. And although this is technically a mixed bag of a movie, I still do lean positive in it. So much so that I'd say I give Gladiator 2 a three out of five stars. And now I'm sure many other people are going to absolutely love and adore this movie. It just, it's missing a layer for me. And also this movie just feels like it's actually missing stuff in it. I know Ridley Scott is known to have director's cuts of his movies. So maybe that's going to be the better version once again. And hopefully it is. And I look forward to rewatching it if that were the case. But as of right now for this movie, it's just, there are just times where you see those clear missing pieces. But either way, still had a fun time with this. And I'm sure many other people will too. But all right, those are my thoughts on Gladiator 2. Be sure to let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to stay tuned for more Yeti Films content, and I'll watch you later.